Hi guys and welcome to another video. I know this one's going to be a little bit out of the ordinary for me but um, I was going to play Project Zomboid but unfortunately it keeps crashing as you can see here. I start it up <coughs> and it'll start loading, it'll start loading up and then before it even gets to the main menu or sometimes it will get to the main menu it then just crashes and it doesn't allow me to continue beyond that point to play the game so I thought while well, I'm here let's uh, I figured out a way to get around it so I'm going to show you how to get around uh, the crashes or at least how to make it start up a little bit more you know so that it could actually play the game and it doesn't just crash within the first couple of seconds of loading so I'll just let this play here for a second so that you guys can see that it's um, oh, double mouse uh, to see that it is obviously not working it's interesting um, takes a while for my computer to load so while that's loading um, what you want to do first is oh, there's a big black box in my thing give me one second yeah so as you can see it's loading up loading LUA and it'll pretty much get to this point and it'll crash after this or it'll crash once it gets up to the main menu so I'll just let it load for a little bit longer and then what you want to do is you want to keep steam up so you want to open up steam uh, while you're waiting, well not while you're waiting for the game to load but you want to open up Steam and you'll want to how about we just wait for this because it's uh, for some reason it's not allowing me to show you guys Steam while it's still up so I'll just let it load and then I'll uh, show you guys when it's about to crash to show you the guys that it's uh, that this is the problem that I'm having and so so the game has just crashed so uh, what you want to do is you want to do two things first of all you want to right click on the game and press properties and then you want to disable both the steam overlay and the desktop game theater well you don't have to do that one I just did that because you're not going to use it because it doesn't require VR anyway and that one at least should be no longer ticked so once you do that it should automatically save it and there you go now you could try and reload it then but it still crashes for me with that so then what you want to do is you want to go to local files and press browse and it's opened up on my other screen hold on and you will get this this is your little project zomboid folder now using this folder we want to find project zomboid batch file now you can either do 32 or 64 we're going to do 64 and what you do is you just double left click on it and it should open this little command uh, e executable so this will just take a little while but it will eventually start booting up and it will also load the game with it um, and this time it should be able to load the game without actually crashing so here you go so it's starting to load up the game also it will tell you if an error does happen to occur it will tell you what the error is so 
the game will take a little while for lo to load in on my computer because I do have a slow computer. Hopefully for you guys it'll be a little bit more quicker. But it is still loading up and as you can see it's starting to load in, load in the scripts. And that's what the command is saying right now, loading up all the scripts. Now we're loading up the LUA. Now this is pretty much around about where it then crashes. Um, unfortunately I wasn't recording when it crashed. So I was recording every time up to it. And then as soon as I stopped recording it crashed and I couldn't record it. So how's that for luck? So now it's continuing to load. Now the game is booting and here you go. So we've gone past where we were before. Now to prove that it wasn't just that it loaded up to the menu uh, in order to play, I will actually load up a game. So I'll just start a game doesn't really matter which what it is yep that'll do uh, yep there you go doesn't matter about the character either and the game will obviously start loading and this is further than probably you would have gotten and definitely further than I would have gotten So I hope this helps you guys with uh, loading up this game. I've had problems with it too and apparently I'm not the only one that's had problems. So that's why I decided to record this video when I found out a way uh, to fix it. So I hope you guys can load up the game and enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.